Hi everyone. So you want to start with a line at the top of your page. I drew in about a centimetre and a half down from the top. Um, and that's going to contain your title, Art Nouveau Pictogram Timeline. <laughs> Okay, so pictograms are usually just pictures with no words, but today we're going to add a few labels just so that you don't forget what things are. Five centimetres down, we're going to draw our second line and this is going to contain the first row of our pictogram images. Okay, so we're all going to draw a seedling, which is to represent when the movement began. It began in Western Europe and it was first mentioned in a journal in 1884. The next thing I'm drawing is sort of an open book shape and this represents the journal that the term Art Nouveau was first mentioned in. And I'm putting fancy letters A and N to stand for Art Nouveau. The term Art Nouveau is French for new art. I'm writing more French above the little journal, Les Vins, which means the 20, because there were 20 rebellious artists who decided to start this new movement. Hopefully you can tell here this is the shape of an artist's palette and I'm writing the number 20 to represent the 20 artists that I've just mentioned and of course little splodges of paint. The next thing we're drawing is a simple house shape and this is to represent the Maison de la Nouveau which means the house of new art. And this was built in 1895, so we're about 10 or 11 years later. Write that in a little door shape. And basically this was a milestone in the Art Nouveau movement in Paris because it exhibited a lot of the Art Nouveau creations that were being made at the time. The next thing we're drawing is an eye shape, which stands for inspiration. And we're going to depict here one of the main inspirations for the Art Nouveau movement, which was nature and everything organic and flowing. We're now going to draw a ruler which represents the artists in the Art Nouveau movement rebelling against academic tradition. They didn't believe that art should be approached in the same way as science or maths. They believed that art should flow through you naturally and they also rebelled against anything that was mass produced which links the Art Nouveau movement to the arts and crafts movement as both movements had great belief in everything that was bespoke. Another five centimetres down and we're going to revisit some of the distinctive characteristics of the Art Nouveau movement. The distinctive characteristics of Art Nouveau include muted colours, swirling lines and of course nature. The Art Nouveau style was seen in paintings and sculptures, but could also be found in homewares, jewellery, architecture design like the metropolitan French street sign, and also in things like posters and graphic design. Lautrec and Alphonse Mucha were two artists who were famous for their beautiful Art Nouveau graphic designs. Here we're going to sketch an hourglass shape 
draw some sand falling through it to represent how long the movement lasted, which was 20 years. We're going to draw a few symbols to represent how the artists in the Art Nouveau movement believed that paintings and sculptures were not superior to the craftsmanship seen in furniture and other large household items. They wanted these to be in equal standing and they wanted there to be a decorative flow around the room from the painting to the sculpture down to a wooden bench or an ornate wall decoration. This belief amongst artists that I've just described carried on long after the 20 year span of the Art Nouveau movement um, and is still something that a lot of artists passionately believe today. One of the artists most commonly associated with the Art Nouveau movement was Tiffany. Louis Comfort Tiffany was an American artist and designer who worked in the decorative arts and is best known for his work in stained glass. He produced beautiful Art Nouveau stained glass windows and lampshades. Personally, Gustave Klimt is my favourite Art Nouveau artist. Have a look and write down the name of your favourite Art Nouveau artist in the same space and also add some words to describe the movement. Swirling, organic and decorative. Try and come up with your own or you can use one or two of mine. So there you have it, an Art Nouveau pictogram to help you remember all the information you've learned today.